I was born in Rwanda. I grew up in, in, in Mozambique. And then I came to the States when I was about 15 or 16. Uh, but I, in that, in my infancy and up to, you know, 15 or 16, just the idea that there is such thing as poverty connected to being white, is just that was incomprehensible in my mind because every single white person that I've ever seen was coming to give me aid. Right. So, so, so in my mind, it was just incomprehensible that you can have a, a homeless white person. So, so I remember driving downtown and I saw a homeless white man on the, uh, on this, on the street. And that just shattered my mind. I just, it, it, I was like, what, what is going on? Where am I? What is this? Um, and it, so it's not, I don't know if that classifies as, uh, as a culture shock, but it's certainly an experience that <laughs> is stayed in my mind. Um, and I learned a lot from just that little thing that it's like, well, okay, there's, there is a lot more to life than, than, than I thought. Uh, so, huh. But that's, and, so, that's so, the beauty. That's mm. the beauty of travel and the beauty yeah. of travel off the tourist paths is that right. you get to experience and you get to see things. And a lot of times those things that you see uh, challenge your notions of, of what reality is and what you think and what your assumptions are. So that's, right. uh, you know, we all grow through, through travel if you're open to it. Now, if you're sitting on a beach mm -hmm. somewhere in a hotel that looks like every other five-star hotel and, you know, sipping cocktails by the poolside, I mean, that's right. fine. Right. That's okay for what it, what it is, but you're not going to learn much from the culture. Well, so... Well, like, okay, stay, staying on, on this uh, traveling topic here, what would you say are some of the biggest misconceptions that Americans have when it comes to, to, to traveling abroad or to just like less developed uh, nations? 